Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today I am so excited to be doing this collaboration with Sarah Taylor and her Patreons, of which I am one. I have learned so much from Sarah since I started down this fluid art path, and I show her my appreciation by being one of her Patreons. So Sarah, thank you for challenging us and putting this collab together. It has been an amazing experience. Now the challenge here was to use multicolored pearl bases so that we would get multicolored pearls in the finished result. So what you're seeing here is a blue pearl base as well as a green pearl base. And these two paints were originally a pale gray pearl base um, that I actually used in a video last week, I believe, um, where I did a purple triptych. Uh, but I didn't want to waste this paint and I didn't really have anything else I wanted to use a gray base coat on. So I took some, and I, I can't remember which one it was, which ones, uh, Color Art Vivid Intense. They have some amazingly highly pigmented um, paints that you can just add a few drops to and it will tint your paint. And it's amazing. Um, so that is what I did. And I, I want to say I used the, a little bit of the phthalo green and maybe some of the phthalo blue. I can't, I just can't remember what I used to tint these. Um, but that is a great way to use something other than white. Um, like I said, Color Art Vivid Intense. They are amazing for tinting. Um, just about any kind of paint. They're very highly pigmented, um, so I would recommend that. But anyway, that is uh, how I got my two other colors, the green and the blue, for the pearl bases. Oh, and let me add, the tinting comes in handy if you have already mixed up a batch of white pearl base. Um, if you're making it from scratch, obviously you can use the Bear 7300 and uh, tint it to whatever color of pearl base you want.
I don't usually leave the parts in the video uh, where I'm touching up the corners or the sides or wiping the bottom. Um, this is obviously sped up, but I wanted to leave it so that you could watch the pearls developing, uh, in, especially in both corners, the top right and left corner. And they will just continue to develop as I work this thing a little bit with my palette knife. So what I've done here is break up a lot of that solid color areas. Um, I like my colors to be a little more blended and I've created some movement. Um, now after I did that, I decided we need some more white in here. So I'm taking my white pearl base and uh, kind of creating some ribbons with it. Um, now remember, because that is the pearl base, it is going to cloud up. Uh, so when it dries, it's going to widen out um, and kind of flow into the other colors a little bit better, um, but it'll provide some nice contrast. I will be honest here and say that when I start going with my palette knife, sometimes it is really hard for me to know when to stop. Um, but there have been too many times where I've stopped before I was ready, turned off the camera, and then decided to come back and work some more on it and didn't turn on the camera. So I've been working really hard to stop that um, because I, I don't think it's fair to you to not see the whole process. But you've just got to get to that point where um, you, you stop for a second or a minute or five minutes and look at your piece from all different angles and see if there's anything else you want to add. Um, and if so, keep going. If not, then it's time to stop. Um, but that has been one of the hardest things for me is getting to that point where I'm happy with it. I think we always think, oh, I can improve it. I can improve it. No, well, just take some time. Take some time. Look it over. Um, I always tell my students, if you don't like the view from where you're at, change your view. Walk around to the other side of your table and look at it from a different perspective. And nine times out of 10, it's going to make a difference in what you think of your piece. got some really really nice pearls in this piece we got the blue we got the green and we got the white and we got a few multicolored and uh, yeah it, it took me it took me about two weeks 
to really like this piece. I ran it by a couple of friends. They were like, no, 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 it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. But it did take me a little while to warm up to this thing. Um, but now that I'm looking at it and it's done, I, uh, I really like it. When I look at this orientation, I see an aerial view uh, of maybe a wintry, desolate land, and I see a cave. Uh, I don't know where my mind goes. That's just what I see. You guys tell me what you see. Sarah Taylor, you are such a gem for doing this. We appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you. Don't go anywhere. We've got Fun With Pouring by Heidi coming up next.